your voice. Heard your voice in the wind today. I turned to see your face. The warmth of the wind caressed me. I stood silently in place. I felt your touch in the sun today. Its warmth filled the sky. I closed my eyes for your embrace and my spirit soared high. I saw your eyes in the window pane as I watched the falling rain. It seemed as if when each raindrop fell, it quietly said your name. I held you close in my heart today. It made me feel complete. Your body died. You are not gone. You'll always be part of me. As long as the sun shines, the wind blows, the rain falls, you will live for that is all my heart knows. Dad. Charles E. Bender, dedicated to dad who left a big hole in my life. For decades, he kept me between the ditches in so many ways. In his dying time, my promise was to responsibly care for his things, sacred work, deep posthumous sharing. As iron sharpens iron, it appears we grew and learned from one another in many aspects over our lives together. So many gifts he left behind that let me know he was noticing and listening. He pioneered and sparked interest. I ran with scissors. Especially in his later years, he followed. Fulfilling the promise is revealing so many clear signs that he loved and trusted me. The greater of these is trust with his life. He knew and heard my voice as he died. I'm grateful to have had so much time with both my parents. Special thanks to Melinda and Janie for your loving kindness at the end of my parents' lives.